Bandai and CyberConnect2 have been pretty freaking quiet lately when it comes to the second DLC of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. However, there has been a lot of information leaked and data mined for this game concerning the files for the second DLC titled New Awakening Part 2. Firstly, this is not the Story Arc DLC which was announced, that is the third and final DLC of the season pass. As we know from leaks, everything points to it being based on the history of Trunks. Although if you guys remember back when it was originally leaked to be about Trunks, I was literally the only one saying I truly believe that this is going to be the Goku Black arc. This happened like months ago, like months and months ago when the game first came out. And I made a ton of videos since then explaining why I thought that and the proof and everything about how this is going to be the Goku Black arc. But now that literally everything is pointing to it being the history of Trunks, considering that an outfit only ever seen seen in the history of Trunks was leaked as well as the title of the DLC and everything else, I finally said in my last Kakarot video that this DLC is going to be the history of Trunks. And of course, when I finally changed my mind, everyone and their mother started saying it's going to be Goku Black. Yep, that's my life. But the third DLC, which is going to be about Trunks, is the story arc, aka the third DLC. The second DLC is the original story episode. The developers told us we would be getting specifically two original stories in the form of episodes. The first was one about Super Saiyan God and Beerus, and New Awakening Part 2 is the second. Now what exactly will this story be about? Well considering that the first was about Super Saiyan God, it makes perfect sense that the second would be about Super Saiyan Blue. And data mine renders for the form confirm this to be the case. New Awakening Part 2 will follow the exact same format as New Awakening Part 1, which means you'll train to achieve this form and then there will be a boss fight. We see in Resurrection F that they train with Whis to become a Super Saiyan Blue. We did the exact same thing with DLC 1 so in my opinion it would be pretty freaking boring if you ask me to have to do that again but we'll most likely have to do that again to get Super Saiyan Blue. Although now of course instead of the boss fight being about Beerus it will be about Golden Frieza. Expect many things we did not see in the movie or anime. Honestly I wouldn't be surprised if we got King Cold showing up again or dare I even say Cooler being added to the game. Now don't go crazy getting riled up and everything, Cooler is in no way confirmed and any leaks for that character have been pretty much fake. Literally everything. But something is going to happen like how Trunks was in the Super Saiyan God ritual in the first DLC, so I wouldn't be surprised if King Cold or Cooler do in fact show up in this DLC. But unfortunately, that's all we know for now. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I would appreciate it if you left a like before you go. My name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next video.